From visitmysmokies.com, it's the fun cast with your Smoky Mountain meteorologist, Paul Poteet, heading into the second half of June. You know, speaking of dates, on June 15th, 1934, the Great Smoky Mountains National Park was officially established. And today it's the most visited national park in the United States. Every year, you know, we've done these stories for years and years on on these videos about record-breaking numbers of visitors. And the reason, the, the admission is free. You can see some really cool bears. Uh, you can check out Cades Cove. Uh, synchronized uh, fireflies in the summer. You can go on and on. It's the perfect place to hike, relax, and get away for a few days. You can get away to Dollywood. And starting officially this weekend on Saturday, Dollywood Summer Celebration. Incredible days. Spectacular nights with extended hours to give you time to make memories with the family. And family favorite Sweet Summer Nights. Offer a drone and a fireworks show, bigger, brighter, and more beautiful than ever. A shimmering, spectacular, larger drones and new illuminated scenes. This year, a unique Dollywood story is told with 3D animations and a symphony of light. What a way to end your day. Well, here's a way to start your day this weekend on Saturday. Run! Uh, The Smokies Trot 5K and One Mile Fun Run is happening Saturday morning. This is at 8 o'clock at Smoky Stadium, where they've got some games coming up next week. Uh, But they'll be running on Saturday morning. It continues on to roads surrounding the stadiums. It'll finish with the runners rounding the bases and crossing home plate. That's awesome. A couple of farmer's market notes. Uh, On Friday mornings, there's a farmer's market downtown Sevierville. Uh, That's Fridays from 7 until noon on 136 Bruce Street. And the Gatlinburg Farmer's Market every Saturday. That happens from 8.30 until noon. And that's at 1222 East Parkway. It's light 2B, and it's right across from Food City. And they say that last week it was a record. They had 346 shoppers and 15 different vendors, and they expect to do even better this weekend. There's some ongoing fun in the Smokies. For example, uh, Fireflies and Flowers is the Skylift Park's spring event. We were talking about Fireflies earlier. That goes on at the Skylift Park through the end of the month with live music, new park lights, and decorations. And all summer long, you can see mermaids at Ripley's Aquarium. Uh, The mermaids are in action with photo ops, a meet and greet, and some live shows. In addition to the daily penguin parade and the coral reef shows. If I knew I'd be talking about the penguins, I would have worn a tuxedo. You want to wear something cool because we still have plenty of hot days ahead. Although the humidity is going to be lower this weekend. A frontal system bringing that weekend relief could bring a few scattered showers and storms on Friday. And then pretty nice, about as good as it gets Saturday and Sunday and Monday. It gets hotter on Monday, and then it gets more humid again on Tuesday through Thursday of next week. Well, I tell you, after the chance of storms on Friday, I don't really see any organized activity uh, as far as rain and storms around the Smokies for a while. If I do, I'll certainly let you know and give you the latest on what's happening the next time that you visit MySmokies.com.